New York Community Bank has been around for over 100 years. I'm joined by the CEO, Joe Ficalora. So your bank has clearly seen a lot of changes you've been through. Obviously, the Depression survived in the most recent uh, current fiscal crisis and came through that, too. How, how have you been able to manage through those changes? I think the important thing about the most recent period going backward is that we are a very risk-averse entity. We've been very, very aware of the evolution of the credit cycle. And we, in fact, lend with an expectation of being repaid. Everybody technically does that, but we actually have explicitly been able to demonstrate that cycle after cycle after cycle. So in the New York market, we are one of the most active lenders on rent-regulated housing. And as such, we've actually proven that uh, in the period when Bowery, American, Greater, Dollar, all went out of business on multifamily housing, we lost very little. We lost 11 basis points in a 10-year time frame that ran from 85 to 95, which included a cycle that took out all those other banks. So the reality is in the current cycle, we likewise have lost significantly less than others because of our concentration on explicit risk avoidance and the way in which we approach property owners and individual locations and properties that we're willing to lend on. So by avoiding those kinds of risks that take out other banks, that cause massive amounts of capital loss, we explicitly turn down $596 million in TARP because we didn't have a need for TARP. We were not losing money. So when the government offered us the money, we said, no, thank you. And, and we probably turned down more TARP money than any other bank in the country. But the reality is we do not need it because our principal asset, which is mortgage loans on rent-regulated housing, does not lose capital. We've never had to charge capital We've only had losses that have been covered by our operating earnings. No bank of any size in this country can say that. And, and the reality is those demonstrated attributes of our lending model keep us not only in business, but prosperous. Do you have plans for more expansion? Because you, as I mentioned, you started with one bank in 1859. Now you're at 239 branches. You're in five states. Do you foresee an expansion beyond that? Well, we're actually 274 branches, if you count the state of Arizona, Ohio, and Florida. And we, in fact, have every expectation of growing by acquisition. We made that conscious decision 20 years ago when we became a public company. It was very apparent to us that our business model actually was most differentiating within the banking industry during periods of economic stress. When other banks were losing money, we were making more money. So as a public company, we're in a very, very unique position to actually maximize benefit to shareholders during periods of stress. As a result, we became a public company. We've done 11 deals. We've grown from you know, a, a $2 billion bank to a $44.5 billion bank as a result of acquisitions. We expect to do acquisitions into the future period. In the new environment, there are explicit requirements as to the kinds of things you need to do in advance of doing a deal, and we've been actively doing that. So at a 43% efficiency ratio, we are the least efficient we've been in, in our public life because we are spending huge amounts of money preparing ourselves to be a $100 billion bank. So there's a lot of effort that has to go into that. Would you say part of your charm is that you are a community bank and you do know your customer? I'd say that that's absolutely correct. The reality is the customer who deposits money in a bank is not creating risk. The customer who borrows money from a bank creates meaningful risk. Banks go out of business on assets, never on liabilities. So we virtually have developed long-standing relationships with families that have large portfolios of the very assets that we, in fact, are comfortable lending on. And there you have it. That's why this bank has been around for over 100 years. They know their customers because they're like family. That's New York Community Bank CEO Joe Ficalora, and I'm Deborah Borchart with The Street.